Hello and welcome back to my channel, The Bender Fit Yogi. My name is Rob and today I will be guiding you through a mindful morning vinyasa flow. The asanas will be held longer, with the reason being it will allow you to go inward and to be present and to be mindful of where you're at within your practice. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy and I'll see you on the mat. Let's begin seated in Sukhasana or easy pose. Legs crossed, whatever feels comfortable for you. And then we're going to sit up tall, bring the hands on the knees, gently pull it back, opening up the chest, beginning to notice the natural rise and fall of the chest as you inhale and exhale naturally. Exhale, allowing the shoulders to relax more and more. Beginning to inhale deeply. And exhale fully. Then inhale and exhale. Continue at your own pace. Everybody has their own breath cycle. Just begin to match the breath with the mind and the mind with the body. Slow everything down. Settle your energy. And opening the eyes as you inhale, arms come up, palms touch at the top, little ring to heart center. Repeat. And last time, inhale. And exhale. Inhale the arms up. This time the left arm stays as is, the right comes to the side. As we inhale, we're going to lengthen up through the fingertips. As we exhale, we're going to side bend to the right. Inhaling, lengthen. Exhale, bend, keeping the bottom shoulder forward, the top shoulder back. Finding your drishti, which could be either down at the floor or up at the hand. Inhale, bringing the right hand and arm up. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale. Keep the neck aligned with the spine. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale the right arm behind for support. Left arm and hand come across, grabbing the outside of the right knee. Inhale, lengthen up through the crown, the top of the head. Exhale, looking over the right shoulder, gently twisting. Releasing the gaze back forward, switch sides. Left arm comes behind, right hand reaches across. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, look over the left shoulder. Releasing the gaze back forward, releasing the arms. Interlace the fingers, palms facing towards the front of the room. As you push forward, round the upper back. Inhale. 
Inhale, the arms up. Maybe arch the back a little bit. Bending both elbows, bringing the arms to the right. Back to center, to the left. Center, releasing the arms as we exhale. We're gonna come forward over the legs and all the way down. Maybe walking the fingers towards the front of the back, releasing the forehead. Inhale, coming back up. Switch knee, the crossing of the legs. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, transitioning, tabletop position. Making sure the wrists are underneath the shoulders, the knees are underneath the hips. Begin to open and wake up the spine as we inhale, look forward, bringing the chest and the shoulders to the front, arching the back, sits bones reach towards the sky. Exhale, round the back, release the head. Inhale. Again, take these at your own breath cycle. And exhale. Maybe rolling one vertebrae at a time. Slowing things down. Bringing the back net back to neutral. Bringing the spine back to neutral. Begin rotating to the right. Imagining you're drawing a circle with your belly button on the mat. Warming up the wrists, the hips, the shoulders. And then switch direction, going to the left. Sit back. Shoulders come up over the fingertips. And doing whatever feels organic, whatever feels right for your body. Coming back to a neutral spine. Left hand stays planted. As we inhale, the right arm lifts. Gaze is up over the right hand or down at the left hand. Exhale, bring the right arm through. Shoulder and temple come to the mat. Option to walk the left fingers out or bring them behind the back. Remembering your breath. Being mindful, being present, engaging all of your senses, release the left hand underneath the shoulder, inhale the right arm back up, exhale back to the mat, switch sides, inhale, left hand reaches, exhale, thread the needle. Again, either walk the hand to the front of the mat or bring it behind the back.
bringing the right hand back underneath the shoulder. Inhale, the left arm up. Exhale, releasing it down to the mat. Prepare it for downward facing dog. Not dumping into the wrists. We're going to be distributing the weight equally between the fingers, especially the index and the thumb. Tuck the toes. As we exhale, we're going to lift the sits bones towards the sky, straightening the legs. So inhale, exhale. First downward facing dog of your practice. Alternate bending the knees, walking your dog. Chest coming towards the thighs. Externally rotating the shoulders. As we inhale, we're going to round the back, coming into upper push up position, shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, push back. Inhale, round. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, upper push up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, upper push up. Exhale this time, release the knees to the mat, sit back, toes still tucked, looking in between the hands, inhale, coming back up to tabletop, exhale, pushing back, downward facing dog, inhale, round the back, upper push up, exhale, release the knees, sit back, inhale, exhale, Inhale as you round, exhale as you drop the knees and sit back. Taking a few of these at your own pace, trying to get the movement as fluid as possible. Every time we come forward, we're inhaling. Whenever we sit back, we're exhaling. Inhaling to tabletop, exhaling to downward face. Meeting back in downward facing dog. Inhale, round the back. This time as we exhale, bring the knees to the edge of the mat. Big toes come together, sit back. Release the forehead to the mat. Child's pose. Wiggling the ribs and the torso in between the thighs if you can. Setting your intention for your class today. Why are you here? What are you expecting? Checking back throughout your practice. Coming back to not only your intention, but also your breath. Breath is the primary focus. The asanas come after. As we inhale, coming back to tabletop, tuck the toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Allow the knees to bend so that the stomach and the abs sit on top of the thighs. Grab either elbow. Option to sway back and forth. Maybe shake the head yes and no. Allowing the neck and head to relax. Using the head as added resistance, stretching the spine. And then coming back to neutral, walking the hands back out. Downward facing dog. Coming up onto the toes, bend the knees, look in between the hands, step to the front of the mat. 
Inhale, come to a flat back. Hands can either stay on the mat to come onto the shins. Shoulders back. Exhale, release. Inhale, one vertebrae at a time, coming all the way up. The head is the last to lift. Arms come to the sides and up. Palms touch. Exhale, lower to heart center. Release the arms to the sides, palms facing forward. Tadasana or mouth. Making sure that the angles are aligned with the knees, the knees with the hips, the hips with the shoulders, shoulders with the ears, so bring the head back. Gaze forward. Inhale, lift the arm, palms touch. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step back. Inhale. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat. As we inhale, first option is cobra. Thighs remain in contact with the mat. Option two, upward facing dog. Thighs come up off the mat. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Coming up onto the toes, bend the knees, look in between the hands, step or float. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise with a flat back. Palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, release and lift. Exhale, dive. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step or slope, chaturanga, to cobra, or upward facing dog, to downward facing dog. Again, come up onto the toes, bend the knees, looking between the hands, step or float. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale, release and lift. Exhale, dive. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or float. Chaturanga to cobra or upward. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Last time, come up onto the toes, bend the knees, step or float. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root and rise. Exhale, the hands to heart center. Inhale, release and lift. Exhale, dive. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or float. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. Taking three deep breaths. Right leg lifts, hold. Exhale, bring the knee to the right elbow. Inhale, back three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Take back and up. Knee to chest, hold. Step through, left knee comes down, inhale either up to the knee or extend the arms up. As we inhale, we're going to get length and as we exhale, we're going to release the hips towards the earth. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, release the hands to the mat. Bring the back foot close as you straighten the front leg, pyramid, torso, 
comes out over the front thigh and leg. As the hamstring begins to loosen and warm, allow the chest to drop further. Now if you have blocks, grabbing your blocks. Transitioning at your own pace, coming into standing scissors. So whenever you're ready, floating the back leg up off the mat. Again, allowing the chest to come towards the thigh. Exhale, step back into high lunge. Right foot comes back. Chaturanga to upward dog. Push back to downward facing dog. Left leg lifts and hold. Exhale the knee to the left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right elbow. Kick back and up. Knee to chest, hold. Step through, right knee comes down. Inhaling to knee, or extending the arms. Again, as we inhale, lengthen up through the fingertips. As you exhale, allow the hips to release towards the earth. Inhaling, and exhaling. Last time, inhale. Exhale, release the hands to the mat. Back foot comes closer, front leg straight, pyramid. Maybe release the neck and the head, allow it to drop towards the near the shin. And then transitioning whenever you're ready, floating the back leg, standing scissor. Exhale, back foot comes down, high lunge, left foot steps back. Chaturanga to upward to downward facing dog. Taking three deep breaths. Coming up onto the toes, bend the knees, look in between the hands, step or float. Inhaling to a flat back. Exhale, hold. Inhale, root and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, release and lift. This time, bring that right knee up. Option number one is to bring the right arm to the inside, grabbing the big toe. Straightening the leg. And bringing the knee back and as you kick back release the toe warrior three stepping back warrior one inhale lengthen exhale the cactus arms arch the back inhale lengthen Exhale, cactus arms. 
Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Releasing the arms behind the back. Interlace the fingers. Inhale. Open the chest up towards the sky. Exhale. Fold forward. Option to bring the shoulder to the inside of the knee. Humble warrior. Grounding the pinky toe side of that back foot, bringing that arch hip off the mat. Keeping the hands clasped, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step into the front leg, float the back leg. Exhale, step back, warrior one. This time, step forward, drag that back leg up. And release it down. Switch sides, inhale. Option to grab inside, big toe. Straighten the legs or stay as is. Come to wherever you're at in your practice. If you can't get it fully straight, that's where you're meant to be at this point in time. Accept it without judgment. Bringing the knee back in, release the toe. Come forward as you kick back. Warrior three. Step back. Warrior one. Regaining your composure and balance. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, cactus on, arch. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, release the arms. Interlace the fingers. Inhale the chest up. Exhale, fold. Keeping the hands clasped, come up halfway. Stepping into the front foot, floating the back leg. Exhale, step back, warrior one. Drag that foot and leg to the front, knee up. And release down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Take three deep breaths. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, step or slope. Chaturanga. To upward dog. To downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, step in between the hands, come onto two railroad tracks, inhale, crescent, exhale, 
Each time we inhale, we're going to lengthen up through the fingertips and the crown of the head. And then as we exhale, we're going to lunge deeper into that front leg. Inhaling for length. Exhale, lunge. Really using this time to go inward. To be present. To noticing the sweat dripping down your arm. Any noises. Sensations of the body. Exhale, release the hands to the mat. Right foot steps back. Chaturanga. Upward dog. A downward dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step through. Rising into crescent. Again, inhale, lengthen up through the fingertips. Exhale, lunge a little bit deeper. And it's your own breath cycle. Again, be present. Relax the shoulders and the neck. Keeping the low belly strong and engaged. Exhale, release the hands, left foot steps back, either go in downward facing dog, or take a vinyasa. Taking three deep breaths, regaining your composure. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step through. Back foot parallel with the back of the mat. Windmill the arms. Warrior two. Front palm flips. Arm comes up and over. Back hand can slide down the back leg or come behind the back. Inhale. Warrior two, exhale, forearm to thigh, left arm reaches up and over, bottom shoulder forward, top shoulder back, pinky going towards the floor. Inhale, warrior two, straighten the front leg, inhale, come forward. Exhale, release the hand to the shin, foot, floor block, left arm reaches, again, either looking up at the fingertips or down at the mat, triangle pose. Transitioning, bringing the hand to block the foot in front of the pinky toe. Floating the back leg up off the mat. Half moon. Stacking the shoulders on top of each other and the hips. Engaging that back foot. Exhale, step back. Warrior two. Inhale, lengthen up through the crown. Exhale, windmill the arms. Right foot steps back, downward facing dog, or vinyasa. Left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step through. Windmill, warrior two on the left.
front palm flips, inhale the arm up, reverse warrior, inhale, warrior two, exhale, forearm to thigh, right arm reaches up and over, Inhale to warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, release. Triangle. Preparing, bringing the hand or block up in front of the pinky toe. Float the back leg up off the mat. Stacking the shoulders and the hips, engaging the back leg and foot. Exhale, step back, warrior two, windmill the arms. Downward facing dog, we take your vinyasa. Three deep breaths. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, bring the knee to the wrist. Foot comes down the middle of the mat, underneath the hips. Back leg comes straight out behind. The closer the foot is to the left hand, the more of a stretch you're going to get, depending on your mobility, your range of motion. Option to stay up. You need to bring a block underneath the bent leg, do so. Option to come all the way down. Settling the breath, stilling the mind, relaxing the body. Inhale, come back up. Move the block if you had your day. Tuck the back toe, back knee comes up front knee to chest and kick back and up and then release switch side left leg lifts inhale exhale knee to wrist foot down the middle back leg directly behind if you need the block place the block underneath the bent leg and stay as is Come down. Keeping the hips level. Not allowing the hips to fall to the right or left. Breathing into where you feel that stretch. back to your intention, finding peace and acceptance where, where you're at within your practice. Coming back up, 
moving the block. Tuck the back toe, back knee lifts. Front knee, chest. Exhale, kick back and up, and release. Inhale. Inhale, kick back and up, and release. As we inhale, we're going to round the back. Release the knees. And then come sit on either side, releasing the legs out in front. Bringing the soles of the feet together, bound to angle pose or butterfly. Sitting up nice and tall. On each exhale, allowing the knees to fall closer to the earth as the groin muscle loosens. Never forcing it. inviting it to participate. Now extend the left leg out in front. Bring the right foot in, making sure the front torso is aligned with the front leg. Bring the arms to the sides, inhale, exhale, fold. Option to grab a strap, towel, t-shirt, whatever you have handy. Each exhale, allowing the forehead to drop a little bit closer to the leg. Inhale, come back up. Remove the strap, set it to the side. Bring the right knee to the chest. Right foot comes up and over. You can leave the front leg as is, or you can bring it behind as long as both sits bones keep in contact with the mat. Inhale, the left arm up. Exhale, elbow to the outside of the knee. Sit up tall. And then as you exhale, look over the right shoulder. Release the gaze, bow to the opposite side. Coming back up, extending the legs out in front. This time, the left foot comes to the inside of the right thigh. Adjust the torso. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming back up. This time the left knee comes up. Left foot comes up and over. Sitting up tall. Inhale, the right arm up. Exhale, the elbow to the outside of the left knee. Twisting, looking over the left shoulder. Release the gaze, bowing to the right. Coming back up, this time bringing the legs out nice and wide. Sitting up tall, so adjusting if need be. Option to stay tall with the arms behind you and just lean into that stretch. Otherwise, Come forward, 
walking the hands towards the front of the mat, depending on your flexibility, or you can bring the hands down the legs, maybe the ankles, the feet. Release, bring the feet and legs out front, sit up tall, inhale the arms, exhale forward. Inhale, come back up. Sit up closer to the front of the mat. We're coming onto our backs. Option to bring the hands underneath the thighs. Otherwise, extend the legs out in front. Hands pointing towards the front of the room. Folding. Shoulders back and down. And then releasing. We'll take a new. Lowering down, coming back up. Make five. If you begin to shake, that's good. Two more. Last one. Hold. Count to ten. We're going to slowly lower down onto our backs. So ten. Nine. One vertebrae at a time. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the knees into the chest. Rock side to side. Line the knees to fall to the right. Left arm extends out. Gazing over the left fingertips. Shoulders keep contact with the mat. That's being present, being mindful, being in the moment, experiencing all there is to experience right here and right now. Bring the knees back to the chest, switch sides. Right arm comes to a T, gazing out over the right fingertips. Relaxing into the twist. Knees come back to the chest. Preparing for Shavasana, final resting pose. Bring the forearms around the shins. Flex the feet and the toes, engaging all of the muscles, the glutes, the hamstrings, the calves, the quads, the abs, the biceps, the chest. Count to three. Once I reach three, you're going to allow the legs to extend forward, the feet fall open. The arms fall to the side, the palms up to receive, 
or down to ground. And shoulders and upper back and head release gently down to the mat. So squeeze one. Squeeze tighter. Two. Coming into a nice tight fall. Three. And release. Staying in Shavasana for as long as you like. I would like to take this opportunity to remind you to show gratitude to yourself, taking the time to come onto your mat, to do your practice, to be consistent, to take time for yourself, I challenge you to set a new intention for the rest of your day. What would you like to accomplish? How would you like to feel? What would you like to take forth from what you experienced on your mat today. As always, I'm honored that you allowed me to guide you through your practice today. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I bow to you. Namaste.